Hello Cancer, how are you guys doing? In today's reading, we're going to see if there is commitment coming in a connection that you are currently in or somebody that you are, are thinking about. Is this person going to commit to you? We're going to be looking at current energy and then moving into the future and seeing what future energy will come out for you and your person. Let me cleanse the area and cleanse the space of any previous readings and I'm sending all that positive vibes through to you guys, wherever you may be. Let's look at present energy in your connection. Let's see what is going on between you and your person I mean this can be anything to you by the way it depends um, what's going on it, I even picked up for some of you it can be you wondering perhaps an ex might come back in again so let's have a look and see let's see what we got in here well to have a judgment card rock up here after being really hurt in the past is very very good let's see what other cards are coming here Oof. with the wheel of fortune Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? There's two cards of a lot of pain happening here. I'm going to tell you, it's so interesting that I started the reading and I started mentioning um, about an ex uh, uh, coming through. And I know a lot of guys don't like to hear about the exes, but when they pop up in the readings as a tarot reader, we cannot, we have to stand in the truth, in the light of truth and say what we are seeing in the reading. Um, I do believe this has got to do with somebody from your past. This has got to do with an ex-person because there has been a history between you and this person of um, heartache here. The Three of Swords energy literally indicates um, somebody who may have gotten you involved in a third-party situation with another person in the mix here. This is a heartbreaking situation. Um, I don't know. I'm saying X, but this can even be somebody that you're with. Um, let me tell you, it's not as cut and dried as everybody makes it out to be. You know, when somebody cheats on you and you're in a relationship, everybody goes, oh, I will walk out the door. But you know, when it happens to you, it's a different thing. It's not a very easy decision to make. And it's not an easy decision to leave. It's also not an easy decision to stay. I kind of, I kind of feel for a lot of you guys, it's in this energy. Even if you have left this person, there could be a chance for you guys to get back together, but it's not easy to make such a decision. I kind of like feel like right now, this is what I'm seeing in this top row here. It's a very specific reading. Um, you've got two very strong cards to come up here. The judgment card coming up here literally indicates that uh, this has ended, this Three of Swords energy, whatever this was that caused this pain here, this is in the past. It has ended, especially with the Wheel of Fortune coming up here. This is something that has happened in the past. It is no longer currently in current energy. But this is what I'm picking up. The pain still is. And that's the biggest problem. Um, you may be even trying to uh, be with this person. Uh, they may have asked for forgiveness or uh, you guys are trying to fix the situation moving on forward with each other. And let me tell you, it's it's like you're trying to move forward with the Wheel of Fortune. The Judgment card has come up. This is the ending of a karmic situation. You're moving forward. But that pain is lingering there. And this can be a problem. Um, you know, it's not, let's try again forgive me, let's move on with, okay, let's try this. It's what happens, it's almost like what festers, you know what I mean, over a period of time. It's like what's going to unfold in the next year, in the next two years. Will the person that's been betrayed and hurt be able to overcome it? Or will it just cause animosity and, and problems in the future? I think this is one of the biggest problems. It's not the moment of, okay, let's try again. It's the moment that comes after that and after that one and after that one. So let's see future. Let's see future energy. Whoa. I, ne I don't quite know what you expect in your readings. I'm just going with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, in this reading, it's a very, it's a very specific kind of reading. So, I am just kind of going with it, um, letting it flow. I want to see what, what card am I holding onto here? Yeah, no, this is exactly what I was getting at in the reading. There is, I think, honestly, um, if there's going to be commitment here, because this does show commitment, the four of wands, it's a, it is marriage. It indicates the day of the wedding. Um to be honest, I think it does move forward. You guys do go forward. There is a sign of marriage here. It is in the reverse position. It does indicate a bit of stuck energy. It can indicate, um, you know, we, we're moving towards this direction, but there's something off or there's something stuck here. 
Uh, again, very interesting. I feel like this is your energy, both of these cards right underneath each other. And this is more like the situation that we, that you guys are in or you are in. Um, there's an element of, I feel honestly moving into the future of internal conflict with inside of you. I picked it up immediately from here because I saw this energy and I saw these two kind of like showing more internally what's going on with you and what has happened to cause that. Um, you still unsure. I really feel moving into the future. It's almost like you're moving with this person forward, but inside of you, there's this going on. There's this back and forth energy. There's this feeling that you cannot shake while wow, this reading, whoa. Um, there's a feeling that you cannot shake here. There's this energy of what's in your mind. Sometimes, you know, there's nothing for you to be angry about, but there's this internal conflict of pain from the past that you still carry. Um, I think sometimes you're not sure if this relationship will make it with the Two of Pentacles being here, but you're holding on anyway. You're going forward anyway. That is why the Four of Wands is there. Even though I do feel like it needs something needs to shift here. Um, truly, I feel like it's what's going on inside of you. I have to tell you with the Moon card coming up here, I still feel moving into the future, you may not trust them totally. Um, the moon card in the reverse position indicates lies. It indicates untruths. It indicates things that are being hidden from you. And I do kind of feel like moving into the future, you may not trust them as much as you would like to. And there's your big problem. If there is no trust in a connection, it is almost doomed to failure from the start. And if you cannot get over this energy that's going on inside of you with regards to what has happened and what caused you to be this way, there is going to be a problem. Um, people can do this for years. So you can, you know, be juggling energy between your emotions of maybe anger and then trying to make it work and then try, I don't know how to handle what they did, the betrayal. And at the same time, you can do this for years. I just have to ask you one thing. This is just coming from me because I'm picking up a lot of energy here. And when I said you can do this for years, <laughs> um, I had this, this kind of like heart feeling in my, it's just below my, my, my heart, you know, and I thought to myself, I would not like to be here for years. You know what I mean? So I feel like if you can try to get past the pain and the hurt, it can get here. But if this is something that is going to remain in you, um, you have to ask if that's how you want to live your life, to be honest. I mean, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? So let's get some spirit guide advice for you out here. Let's see what, oh, gee was you just have got to be kidding with me. I'm taking the cards out here that are just flipped over, and I'm not going to ignore the last one that flipped as well. I'm going to bring it out for you. Um, caution moving forward. That's what they're saying. they not, they actually not, um, even letting go of the fact that there was infidelity here. It's coming up now three twice in your reading. For me to draw two cards out that are just this. Um, it does show me um, that you guys can move forward together. You've got the full card. You've got the page of, uh, the page of Cups energy as well. The thing is here is that you can move forward here, but this betrayal still lies inside of you. I do believe with the temperance energy, which is also Sagittarius' energy as well, I kind of like feel like they're saying, take it slow. Um, take it very slow, step by step. It's almost contradictory energy to this. Because the full card, I mean, look at the full card. The full card, the guy's like going to fall off the mountain. The dog's trying to bark at him to warn him and go, look, look where you're going. You know, he's going anywhere. He's moving forward. He's the page of cups energy. And I feel like spirit guide above here, because they're advising you, this would be the head energy, the spiritual energy above. And it's angel as well. We've got two angels that have now came out in your reading. It's almost like they're going, take it very slow. Uh, um, for, they just literally said, because your healing needs time. Don't rush this at all. If you're going to want to be with this person, it is going to take time. It is going to take um, them proving to you that they can be trusted again. And this can take longer than what you would expect it to take. That's why the Four of Wands can be in the reverse position. Take it slow. This is not the Knight of Cups energy. It is the Page of Cups energy. You need time, honestly, to heal with this temperance coming up here. And um, I think if you give yourself some time and move past this, this can go to a place of commitment. But your heart can't be there anymore. It can't have these swords in it anymore. It's almost like you've got to heal that in you so that you can move forward with them. Part of the healing it is going to be them 
proven to you that they can be trusted moving forward. And let me tell you, that is going to take some time to do so. And they have to be very straightforward with you and very open as well um, with regards to everything. There cannot be any doubt here with a moon card in the reverse position that they are not trustworthy. They have to be very open with you. If they do so, this can really go to a place of commitment. A lot of work needs to happen inside of you and take it slow to do so. There we go. I am sending you all light and love. Thank you so much for watching. If the reading resonates, by the way, hit that thumbs up button for me. Thanks, guys. Bye.